Hey everyone, Ariel Labs here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. Also hit the bell icon to be notified of our upcoming videos. This is a review of the Karolev Bukharer Petravi Scuba Tech. This version is the two-tone or one of the two tones that comes in steel and 18 karat rose gold. And the rose gold is in some of the links on the bracelets. These are actually um, plated or the capped for that matter, uh, these links and then you have the solid rose gold bezel um, and the crown and the accents on the dial with the hour markers and the hands. The Petravi Scuba Tech is actually um, an aging design at this point. It's been in the market for a while now. And it came out because Carla Bucherer needed to have a sporty dive watch. Everyone needs to have a sports dive watch. And they wanted to have one and they wanted to be a good performing dive watch. So a real tool watch for that matter. And what they also wanted the watch to do was to be a little bit distinctive. They didn't want to look necessarily like other dive watches on the market, which is interesting because the Carlef Bucherer brand sometimes wants watches that look very familiar or I guess you could say classic. So they really went out to do something that was a good tool watch, but that was different. And they also wanted to fit solidly in the world of functional jewelry watches. So they want to have a little bit of a bling to it. And again, not all versions of this are two-tone. Most of them are just steel. Um, so the two-tone ones are rare, but the lifestyle, what I call the celebration diver market, that's one of my favorite terms for dive watches, a celebration diver, meaning it has some type of bling element, whether it's gold or, um, you know, even Rolex has dive watches with diamonds on the dial. And in blue, with the sort of blue accent here on the rotating bezel, is a slightly different color. And if you look closely, there's an interesting texture to the dial. The Scuba Tech is the watch that Carla Bucherer chose to integrate with its Manta Trust um, charity work. So there are various uh, Manta Trust versions of the watch that I think really got a lot of people excited about it. And the watch, because it sort of has a distinctive look and is, is, a, is a large, bolder design, took a while to catch on to the market, but I think what's interesting is that people are finally discovering the Scuba Tech, even if it's been out on the market for a while. And that happens quite a bit. Watches will perhaps not be popular for the first few years or longer. The Royal Oak from Audemars Piguet is a great example because it was like decades before anyone really cared about that watch. In the 1980s, Audemars Piguet used to lament the fact that they couldn't sell Royal Oaks. So, Every good watch uh, has its time, and maybe the time for the Petravi Scuba Tech is coming, or is here. New versions of the watch that are coming out are doing really well, and I think the brand, as they're focusing on this collection, is doing a lot of great things. The case is 44 millimeters wide. It actually wears bigger, because look at these really wide lugs. They're not the biggest lugs in the world, but they're very aggressive looking, and you see how widely they're spaced? That means the bracelet itself is also very thick. So this is a nice, heavy watch, and it's a luxury watch in sort of, I wouldn't call it an old school way, but luxury watches now are a lot more light. They celebrate thinness. This, this was one that wasn't about any of that. This is the type of watch for someone who may, may have worn a Breitling before and wanted like a nice, heavy, you know, heavy metal watch. And when you put this on your wrist, it's definitely a different experience than the Breitling, but I can understand going from, you know, one of their larger 44 millimeter, 47 millimeter wide watches and going to this and feeling like you're sort of in the same area. As a dive watch, it's water resistant to 500 meters and it has an automatic helium release valve right here on the side, which is sort of a nice design element. You'll never use that, but it's nice to know that it's there. Legibility is very good, and you can see these sort of biomorphic style of hour markers and hands that aren't to everyone's taste, but I have to say that there's a lot of loom on this, so it's very, very bright in the dark, and it's quite legible, and I like the distinctiveness. For years, I actually didn't really know what to make of this watch because it was almost, it was almost sort of toy-like. And if you sort of look at the design of the bezel, you see how those numbers are very large and toys I always associate with having sort of larger than life fonts and numerals and things like that. So you had all these other very serious watches that were the serious celebratory dive watches out there. And then you had this that was very playful. And sometimes people don't know what to make of a watch that is inherently playful like that. But um, I think the sort of large features on the watch work to its benefit. Before I put the watch on, I wanna talk about the deployant clasp, which is interesting because it's uh, not, not unprecedented, but it's rare to see them these days. And so the first thing is it has two parts. 
So it is a security one, there's a push button here, but it comes in those two parts. Now each of the parts has a different component inside of it. This part, for example, you pull out and it has, pulling it the wrong way, a little diver's extension. So if you're wearing this over a wetsuit, you open that up and you get a couple of extra millimeters. Okay, so that's, that's nice and that's a little bit more on, on the traditional side when it comes to dive watch features. But then on the other side, let's get in view there, you have a micro adjust. So micro adjusts have become increasingly popular for a while now because they're really, 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 really useful. And the idea is that you can slide this in, I don't know, one millimeter or less than one millimeter incre increments to give yourself a little bit extra size. And this is great, especially in places where it's humid and your wrist expands or contracts or you just want a little bit more comfort, you want a little bit more tight. That's a great feature to have. So you have both a diver's extension and a micro adjust. There are very few watches out there that have both of them. There's some, but it's really nice to see the attention to detail there. Inside the watch is a standard um, base uh, ETA Swiss made automatic movement. I think it's a uh, 2892, uh, but it is chronometer certified. So you have that extra added value there as well. So not, not, uh, not the fanciest movement, but a good high end movement that, that works well and is certified for its accuracy. Probably in the future, Carla Bucherer will put one of their neat in-house made movements in this, but for now it doesn't have it. And honestly, it doesn't really need it. So again, at 40 millimeters wide, it's a little bit over 40, it's like 44.6 millimeters wide. There it is on the wrist. I happen to quite like this blue and black two-tone version. I think one of the things that Carla Bucherer did um, a little bit mistakenly with this collection is they, they actually made too many of the scuba techs playful in their colors. And they didn't realize that for the price, people wanted a little bit more of a serious watch. This is actually one of the more serious looking ones. So I think that when it comes to coming out with some of the new versions, which is definitely what they're doing, they're focusing a little bit more on the colors. So this was an attempt to be both luxurious and playful, which I happen to like. Um, some of them might be a little bit more playful than luxurious in terms of the way they look. But again, the assortment of watches within the Scuba Tech collection is getting better and better and better. And I think Carla Bucherer realizes they have a really great collection here. It's within the Petravi collection, which has way too many watches in it. Um, but just refer to it to Scuba Tech because that's really the best way of, of, uh, of referring to this, this piece. So again, this is the Karlef Bukwer Petravi Scuba Tech, the two-tone with, of course, the ceramic bezel um, and the steel, and the 18 karat rose gold. Retail price of this version is $11,800, and you can see the full review in a block to watch. Thanks.